Hello everyone, welcome back to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and this is a continuation of Matchbox's 60th Anniversary Commemorative Edition. Uh, in part one, if you'd like to go back and have a look if you didn't already, uh, we covered 1 through 12 of the 24 in the set from 2013. This is 13 through to 24. Kind of starting at 13. The Land Rover Defender 110 in a classy orange. Got some bits and bobs on the roof. G4 Challenge. Probably a famous race, I'm not aware of it. Great to add to the collection. I've got many a colour of that, but not that. Well, I do now. I'll just um, pyramid these boxes up a bit. And the rising sun of the matchbox sign in the background. Very good. Um, the 60th anniversary one was was pushed very hard uh, back around 2013, but they also did some. 2012 promos. This one was exclusive to um, Amazon and Mattel online stores. Uh, part of the 60th anniversary commemorative edition push, the International Workstar Brush Fire Truck. Australians would call this a bushfire truck, all jacked up, and usually the white ones are bushfire, especially in my state of Western Australia. Here's the back if you want to take a peekaboo. Freeze frame if you wish. I'll just plonk that over the back. Kind of in shot. Um, and we're up to number 14 after that little sidetrack for the ground grinder in almost fluoro green. If this was a Biante, they'd be calling it um, citric acid, I think. But, yeah, funky little casting. Clearly not 164. It'd be quite enormous if it was done in 164. I was about to say it would be completely out of shot, and it is. <laughs> so that was 14. Another 15. Oh, don't you love this? The 61 Jaguar E-Type Coupe. In not quite British race and green, I'd think, but... Some lovely details. This car reminds me of Wigram Air Base, just outside of Christchurch, where I grew up um, in New Zealand. And they were doing a car rally, rally at the um, air base. And uh, health and safety wasn't a thing in the 70s. <laughs> and the only thing protecting us from the cars spinning around this particular bend where we were standing there were... Um, randomly placed bales of hay and we were told not to stand in front of the bales of hay and one of these almost lost control and damn near killed us all. It was great. What do we got? Nice green base. Flip it up to see a 2005 copyright. As usual made in Thailand for this age. Chrome interior to get our chrome bumpers. It's a good looking car. 16, we go really old school with the Volkswagen T2 bus with the flag of Deutschland on the side. Again, this is uh, something I've got in a lot of colours and it's really good to get this one. Gold hubs, gold base. We might have to do a bit of a shuffle. We in yeah, that's about all I can fit on a row. Try not to muddle them up for the end shot. There we go. That's and we can start. There we go. Okay, cool. Number 17 is the BMW R1200 RTP police motorcycle. They've kind of gone for the, uh, almost, the blue of the Italian police, but 
it's not. Really dig this casting. Stands on its own. Scale is not important. You wouldn't expect to the um, for Mattel or anyone else to give you a 164 scale motorbike. It would just be tiny. But yeah, I like this one. Not sure it should sit there because it's going to go flying with my clumsy hands. Sticking with German vehicles, 1962 Volkswagen Bug is number 18 with the peel away sunroof. Bit of detail about the place. Hard to read base, got to get that angle right. Classic wheels, bit of chunkiness to those tyres. I've seen this on a few on the set today. Yeah. A lot of these ones, it's um, a really nice addition to subsets. You know, you, you get into your, your little pet subsets, don't you? Um, and you seek out every single thing that they did on particular things. This one's number 19, the Urban Tow Truck. Uh, MBX design or casting, unlicensed if you like. Blue plastic base, big old white wheels, 24 hour service on the side, Metro towing, and the 60th logo. As our pyramid grows, number 20, the 1976 International Scout 4x4, in white with gold stripe. Built for trouble. That is that one. Park him up there. Already number 21, the Superlift Ford F350 Super Duty. Uh, this cage comes off, I think, or does it? I think I, I kind of accidentally pulled a cage off one and I freaked out and then I realized it was just a, a net on piece. Yeah, there you go. And the National Parks livery. 2021 copyright. Clunk. It's uh, ready for anything, really. Squeeze in there. Although this table's getting quite crowded. At number 22 we have yet another German, uh, the 2007 Porsche 911 GT3 with some funky decals. Nice paint job. So you get the GT3 on one fender but not the other. To make it look hip and with the cool kids. Sweet. And heading up to the pinnacle of our little pyramid. I think that's out of shot too. Everything seems to be this morning. Uh, 23 is the lovely Blaze Blitzer. And this reminds me of a bushfire truck in Australia. Absolutely ready for anything. Blue tint to get those authentic looking lights. Nothing worse than a clear light bar on an emergency vehicle. Just looks a bit underdone. I know technology these days permits them to have clear light bars until they're in use, but I don't like them. But I like this. That's a good chunky and weighty vehicle. Very good. And lucky last, we're going to the farm with a crop master. I was going to call it a crop duster, but this ain't this thing ain't going to fly. Um, on the very top, cute little thing. Very bottom heavy because we've got a big chunk of metal there. Yeah, 
very rugged little fella. Another orange one. It's a lot of orange today. Uh, and they just fit, don't they? I'm tidying up the table a little bit, but uh, I think we're squeezing them in today. It won't go aerial because uh, I've fixed this camera to this tripod for now, so that'll be messy. Yeah, pretty good. Remember, that's the uh, add-on, so bear that in mind. If you're freeze-framing to check if you have all of the set of the 60th Anniversary Matchbox Commemorative Edition. Hope you enjoyed these two videos. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.